you know, I made my statement loud and clear last week. And yet, there is no one out there who wants to step up to me, who wants to step up to the plate and make DWE what it once was. But you know what, since I've been gone, DWE has gone soft because no one wants to step up. No one. So on that case, after I made my statement last week and everyone is still silent and no one wants to make the effort of challenging me first, I'll challenge them first. How about that? Next week, June 12th, I'm going to return to the ring for the first time in nearly a year. And I'm throwing out that challenge to anyone who, who will step up. And I mean someone will step up. If not, then there's going to be consequences. So, you already heard it. Next week, June 12th, the DWE locker room, you have seven days to make up your damn mind to see who actually has the balls to step up to me. Just want to throw that little announcement out there. I'm coming back. Better than ever. You all, you all got seven days. And, and, and in seven days time, there better be someone who, who will step up. Or there's going to be consequences. I'll see you in seven days. Time's ticking. I'll see you next week.
So, y'all heard me last week when I set the open challenge to anyone who has the guts to walk down the aisle and come to this ring and have my first match that in nearly a year. Because tonight is going to be my first match I had in nearly a year because I've been gone doing other things for DWE and yet the wrestling here has, has gone soft. I'm here to bring it back. It's funny because right when I made the announcement of me coming back into the ring a few weeks ago, that's where everyone has gone silent. And I find that funny because no one's capable of getting in the ring with me. I figured that out. But yet, what pisses me off is that no one was able to, 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 make, to put in the effort to actually keep the company running while I was gone. No one was capable of that. So that I have to come back and make sure I'm doing the right thing to make this company still going. But yet, as I come back, no one's doing anything. Everyone has gone soft. This company has gone soft, and I'm tired of it, and I'm going to make it right. And you people might not like it, but I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what, what people think because that's what I've been worried about my whole damn life. And now all I care about is me. And now I am going to make the open challenge right here, right now, to make sure whoever, whoever it is who has the guts to walk down, that I only get in this ring, and then you might have the match of your, of your life. But I am not leaving this ring until I get that. So hell, I might be in, I might be in here all night because no one wants to come out. So. Come on, I'll even sit down here, and I'll, and I'll even wait for someone to come out. And I'm tired of waiting, so somebody better get their ass out here before I go back there and make them come back here myself. I'm waiting. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob Dahl versus Zachary Dahl in a one on one match. And Jacob's first match in nearly a year. And oh, Zach going quick with a DDT. But Jacob gets back up and oh, it was right hand. And oh, what a vicious right hand. Oh my god. And oh, big boot by Jacob. Since, since not having a match in nearly a year, Jacob has not missed a step. And oh, what a vicious DDT by Jacob. Oh, they might end, he might want to end this match early. And I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, it feels good to be back on the commentary table. It's me, Jabroni. Uh, Irish Whip uh, do dodges it. And oh, what a vicious drop kick by Jacob. Like I said, Jacob has not missed a step. He's going for a cover. One. And oh, a kick out at one. Zach still has a lot in the tank. And this is Zach's debut here in DWE. What is he going to have for us in this match? Up oh, at the third throwing right hands. Oh, but Zach with the reversal on throwing right hands. And oh, what a vicious clothesline by Zach. The chairman's down. And yeah, and Jacob has changed a lot, but he says for the better. But he looks better than ever. He looks like an incredible shape than he was beforehand. Oh my god, Zach has Jacob on his shoulders. What is he going to do next? Oh, but Jacob reverses. And oh, another vicious big boot. Jacob with these big boots. Oh. Oh, he's going for a DT, but, he, but is that counted into a rock bottom? He counted into a rock bottom. Oh my god. Cover. One, two, and oh, a kick at the last second. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we are. 
we we are not even two minutes into the match yet, ladies and gentlemen. And we are almost at the end of the match right there. And this is a big match for the both of these men. Because if Jacob wins this match, he'll win his first match in DWE. You know, a, a little like a slow crushing finale. He's going to go for the pin, no? But, but like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if Jacob wins this match, this will be, be his fir first match to win in DWE. And this will be Zach's match first win in, D in DWE, since this is his first match. So why not make it big? And, oh my gosh, spear! A spear by Zach! That has to be it! And Oh, and a leg drop! A leg drop, that has to be it! Cover! One! Two! And oh my god, Jacob again kicks out the last second! Zach can't believe it! We are nearly three minutes into this match, ladies and gentlemen. This match has already been unbelievable. Oh my god. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, for for Jacob not having a match in nearly a year, he has not missed a step, and he looks even better than than, than he did before. And we have a new look. Oh, but they're throwing right hands. Jacob with another right hand. And oh! Vintage Jacob with the super kick. Another right hand. Another right hand. Oh, but I need to... The, I need to the mint section. And oh, another vicious super kick. Oh my god. That's his, his signature. One, two, and oh, Zach kicks out. Oh my god. We're still in this match, ladies and gentlemen. And these, oh my god, Jake with a leg drop. It, l it looks like these two have a lot in common. I mean, yeah, they, they are brothers. But, I mean, it's just we have family versus family here right now. This is the first time in DDE history that we have these two. Oh, my God. DDT. A DDT. Jacob's down, ladies and gentlemen. We're only four minutes into this match. And it's been incredible. Uh, but Zach taunting Jacob up. Should Jacob's getting up? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, but... Oh, throwing right hands. Oh, I need to get up. He's going for the power bomb. Oh, he's going for power bomb. Up, oh, Jacob slid out. Jacob slid out, and on to another big boot. And oh my God. The butterfly DDT, that's his finisher. That has to be it. Cover. One, two, and oh my god. Once again, Zach kicks out. These guys are getting tired, and we're only five minutes into this match. Oh my god. Oh, but Jacob's going out, out of the ring. What are you going out of the ring for? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and oh, Jacob gets in the ring at the very last second just to play mind games. But oh, Zach's hammering on him. Zach's hammering on him. Oh my god. He's getting back up though. And oh my god, a vicious right hand. Jacob's down, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob is exhausted. He keeps falling to the ground. But Zaxa has a lot less than in the tank. She's showing us that right here, right now. Oh, but once again, going for the power bomb. He's got him up. He's gonna get it this time. He got it. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, Jacob. Oh my God. Oh my God. What did we just see? What did we just see? Zach went for the power bomb and he executed, but somehow Jacob bounced back up and went for a clothesline. But these two are down. Oh my God. Oh my god, we've never seen anything like that. That was incredible. That was incredible. Oh my god. Indeed, this is awesome. These two are going to hell with each other. And we love every second of it, because this is DWE right here. This is what DWE is all about. Oh, but they're throwing right hands. Throwing right hands. Right and left, right and left. Oh, but Jacob's the one that gets down. Jacob is tired, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob is getting tired. I don't know if he can execute getting a win in here. But, uh, we get him up. Oh, and a spear! 
A spear, that has to be it. Jacob can't have anything left in the tank after that. That was a vicious spear. Oh, but he picks him back up. What is he going for now? Oh, man, he's going for... He's going for a choke slam. Oh, it has to be it after that. It has to be it after that. Come on, Zach. Go for the cover. Cover. One, two, and oh, my God. I thought that was it. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. How did Jacob manage to kick out of that? You see, Jacob is not moving. He just had to, he forced himself to just he, Barely get that right, sh that right shoulder up, and he's still laying down on the ground. He has not moved. He just had to like, get that shoulder up enough to kick out and keep this match going. Oh, but he's taunting him up. Zach's taunting him up. Oh, but Jay reverses on to another to super kick. And on to another vicious DDT. Oh my god. But Jack, Zach is still standing. And oh, a spear. What a combination. He was stunning standing, but now he browned him with a spear. That has to be it. Cover. One. Two. And oh my god. Oh my god. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. These are unbelievable. Much respect to both of these men right now. Having the match of their life right now. We haven't seen a match like this. Ever, I don't think. These two have beaten the hell out of each other in only eight minutes. That's incredible. That's incredible. This is still a short-term match, but this match is just unbelievable. I'm speechless. Oh, but was that RKO? Jacob with an RKO. Oh, my God. Is, will that finish him? Oh, but Jacob is, is just hanging out on the side of the ring, trying to catch his breath for all the hell that these two have brought each other. Oh my god, it's unpredictable to see who's going to win this one because these, both of these men have been unbelievable. Both of these men have been unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. What a crazy match for Jacob's first match in nearly a year. And oh my god, Jacob with a curb stomp. Jacob with a curb stomp. Oh, ha oh that had to hurt. Oh, Zach is, is, is hovering the, the back of his neck. That had to hurt. That's going to be sore in the morning. Oh my god. Oh, but he's still getting up. And, oh, but Jacob with a kick to the head. Again, a curb stomp and, Jake and Zach is still trying to manage to fight in this match. This is how much heart these two have in the wrestling business. There's a reason why this company is called Doll Wrestling Entertainment. Oh, my God. He's going for, going for a second power. A second soup. Oh, my God. He, like, turned it. He, like, twisted him. He, he, like, made him fly in the air with that powerbomb. That has to be it. Jacob is not moving after that. There is no way he's moving after that. Oh, my God. I was speechless, ladies and gentlemen. I can't even do commentary right now because this is just unbelievable. Cover. One, two, and oh, my God. Zach can't believe it. Zach is wondering, what do I have to do to put him away? What does Zach have to do now to put Jacob away? What does he have to do now to put Jacob away? And my answer, ladies and gentlemen, is I don't know what will. Oh, but Zach seems like he has something in mind because he's taunting Jacob up. And Jacob is slowly getting up. Jacob is slowly getting up. What what was that gonna go for here? He's going is he going for gonna go for a finish? And oh but Jacob counting with a knee to the gut. And oh a DDT! A DDT! A DDT! He's not gonna go for the cover though. But oh Zach, Zach pops right back up. But wait. Oh my god! Was that a code breaker? That was a that was the most vicious code breaker I've ever seen. Oh my god. Cover one two three. Oh my god, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. What a match. Jacob Dahl won his first match in nearly a year. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. I told all of you that the next person to step in the ring with me is going to have the match of their life. And look who is still standing. No one can stop me. 
not even my own flesh and blood can stop me. I'll put out another open challenge next week. Who's going to step up? I'll see you next week. Hey Zach, um, so tonight was your debut and whatnot and I just kind of want to give an input on what happened out there tonight against your brother. Uh, you know, I lost. It's plain as, plain as day for sure. You got me this time. Man, it is a little shit though for sure. Talking all that stuff about us getting soft. It wasn't, that wasn't an easy match. I know that wasn't for him. He, he he was. I know he's gonna be sore. He's gonna have a couple bruises the next time you see him. That's for sure. Um, like I said, it was my debut. It's my first match ever here. Um, one of my first matches in a long time too. So I feel like I did pretty good, and I learned about him. So next time, I guarantee it would be a different result, and I will dominate whoever my next opponent is. Because if that's who I have to beat, and I almost beat him, imagine who else I can beat. That's Zach Dahl out.